A wonderful Sunday. It is October 30th, 2022. To God be the glory for yet another opportunity to express our worship, our love, our devotion to our Father because of who He is, His faithfulness, His love, His strength that He gives to us day by day by day. Let me ask you this. Has the Lord given you a different assignment? Maybe you are pivoting in your career, in your job, in your ministry. Listen, and I have to say this, it is never too late. Everybody knows that I do not, quote unquote, believe in retirement. One of my sisters call it pre-tirement. You know, as far as in between one job to another or just being open to whatever the Lord will lay in our laps. But the point is, we have to be a vessel. And I'm thinking about that song, Lord, I'm available to you. Yeah, we want to keep that as our, a lot of people call it a mantra. No, this is a life mission. Whatever, if he changes your trajectory today and say, you know, go this direction, Say, my heart says amen to your will, Lord, because he is in charge. He is our pilot and he knows our end from our beginning and our beginning from our end. So who should we consult? Yeah, the one who has the itinerary, the one who's mapped it out. Well, in Luke 3, we see that Jesus himself began his ministry, his career of doing the works of the Lord at about, in verse 23, at about the age of 30 years. Now, maybe you knew exactly what you wanted to do at 30 years old. A lot, a lot of us did not know. <laughs> a lot of us didn't know until 40s or whatever. I didn't go back to school to become certified to teach what I really love to do until my son was three years old. I think I was 35. So in between those two decades. It doesn't matter. As long as we have breath, as long as we're consulting with the Lord, our goal, our desire is to hear verse 22 throughout our journey. It says, And a Holy Ghost descended in a bodily shape like a dove upon the Lord. And a voice came from heaven. And don't you know that we can continually have this confirmation from voice from heaven the Lord will speak he will speak confirmation and he will speak well he will speak direction he will speak definition as far as our mission and vision we can continually hear thou art my beloved daughter my beloved son my beloved servant, in thee I am well pleased. I know you want to hear those words. And then at the end of life, we want to hear, well done, my good and faithful servant. Yeah, all of us want to hear that. And no matter what is our position, if it takes us to go back to school, if it takes us to change locations, the Lord will lead. Just like the Holy Ghost descended in a bodily shape, and came in the form of a dove, the Lord can use anything to speak and communicate with us. Yes, he can. And as long as we're connected with him, know that he will maintain messages of flowing down from heaven to us as long as we're open. Remember, I wanted to mentioned Luke 2, two days ago, there was Anna. Remember? She had a ministry. After her husband died, she was married for, I believe, seven years. And it says in verse 36, Luke 2, she had lived with her husband, yep, seven years from her virginity. And she was a widow of about four score and four years. That's 84 years old. And she departed not from the temple, but she served the Lord. Her career, her ministry was with fastings and prayers night and day. That was her calling. 
And we know earlier in that chapter, it talks about Simeon, how the Lord revealed to him that he would be able to go and depart after something happened. He had a calling on his life. It said in verse 34, and Simeon blessed them and said unto Mary, his mother, behold, this child is set for the fall rising again of many in Israel and for a sign which shall be spoken against. Yes. So Simeon had a job because it said in verse 25, there was a man of Jerusalem whose name was Simeon and the man was just and devout, waiting for the consolation of Israel and the Holy Ghost was upon him. So these are examples. He was a man who was much older in his 80s or 90s. Anna was, right? And throughout the Bible, uh, was it Aaron? No, Caleb, who said, I am twice as strong as I was when I was much younger. And he was in his 80s, right? When he went with Joshua to scope out the land. And he said, I am much more powerful. My physical stature is more solid, right? So the Lord can renew us day by day if we give all of our aspirations to him. So let's just follow him and know that he has a perfect plan for us as we lift our heart, lift our requests, lift our everything to him. In Psalms 30, we know that the Lord will continually be thou our helper. He will be the one to pave the way and he will tell us to leave a job, to stay the job, stay at the job. I will give you grace, which is sufficient. Yes. But our prayer is in Psalms 90 verse 17. Let the beauty of the Lord, wherever we are, whatever state we're in, in life, let his beauty from the Lord be upon us and establish thou the work, establish thou the function, establish thou the ministry, establish thou the initiative, the project, whatever. Establish thou this in our hands. Yea, establish for your glory. So, of course, we're going to play the song, Lord, I'm available to you because we're vessels. And he is our ultimate supervisor and he's managing our lives. Questions, our inquiries, Lord, you continue to be an anchor to our soul. Lord, we're available to you, Father, for whatever you have planned for our present and our future. We just want to continually to have your affirmation and your confirmation of that we are doing your well done, good and pleasing will for such a time as this. So have your way and we'll continue to give you the worship and our whole heart, soul, mind, and strength. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.